Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We got 17 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And yeah, we'll hop in it, guys. Huge day today. Um, Shouts out to the members, 163 members. We got three new members in the stream yesterday, so if you want to be a member, go ahead and sign up in the link below. Love to have you guys on board. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Had a pretty good night last night. Got some nice wins. And yeah, 17 matchups. Starting with the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Mets opening up a slight home favorites at minus 120. Atlanta plus 100 with the over under at 9. Pitching for the Braves is Jake Odorizzi with an area of 3.75. His last start. Um... Pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. He is making his debut from being traded uh, from the Astros. So definitely excited to see how he performs here for the Braves. Pitching for the Mets is David Peterson with an ERA of 3.54. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, and had eight strikeouts. Atlanta beating the match yesterday 9-6. A uh, very good win for them. I think I'm taking the Braves here. Plus one and a half on the road. Played well yesterday. Um, Odorizzi getting his uh, star debut on the mound. And uh, coming off a no run game. Which is nice. So um, I'm going to leave with the Braves. Plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup we have the Miami Marlins versus the Chicago Cubs. Both teams in a pick'em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Marlins is Pablo Lopez with an ERA of 3.49. His last start, he pitched two innings, gave up six runs, had one strikeout. Pitching for the Cubs is Drew Smiley with an ERA of 4.42. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had five strikeouts. Miami uh, coming off a of Cubs loss two to one you get the nice underdog cover though both teams playing very poorly right now and um, you know Smiley coming off a five run game Lopez coming off a six yeah, I'm not in love with this matchup to be honest here in a pick em scenario I think I'm going to take the Marlins plus one and a half on the road Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Pittsburgh plus 130 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Pirates is JT Brubaker with an ERA of 4.40. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up seven runs, had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Orioles is Austin Voth with an ERA of 5.54. Um, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Um, the Pirates 0 and 8 on the road against Baltimore, coming off a 1 to 0 loss yesterday. A tough game for Pitt. Baltimore on a four game winning streak, playing very well right now. Um, Austin Voth, uh, actually playing pretty good on the mound. Um, Coming off a zero run game. He's only given up three runs in his last three starts. Um, I think I'm going to take the Orioles out home. Next matchup with the Washington Nationals versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 260. Washington plus 210 with the over under at nine. Pitching for the Nationals is Patrick Corbin with an ERA of 6.57. His last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up four runs, had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Phillies is Ranger Suarez with an ERA of uh, 3.60. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. He has not allowed a run in his last three starts. So playing very solid. Phillies on a three-game winning streak. 
Washington on a three-game losing streak, coming off a 7-2 loss yesterday against the Phillies. Yeah, don't love Patrick Corbin on the mound. He went up 15 runs in his last three starts. I'm taking the Phillies at home. Next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Cleveland Guardians. Houston opening up as road favorites at minus 160. Cleveland plus 135 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for Houston is Luis Garcia with an area 3.72. His last start, he pitched 7 innings. Gave up 3 runs. Had 5 strikeouts. Pitching for the Guardians is Cal Quantrill with an area of 4.08. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had four strikeouts. Houston on a three-game winning streak, beating Cleveland nine to three yesterday. Um, Cleveland on a two-game losing streak. Houston seven and zero on the road against Cleveland, where they've been very solid. Yeah, I like the Astros here. Playing great so far in the series, hitting very well. I'm gonna take the Astros on the road. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Detroit Tigers. Tampa opening up as road favorites at minus 260. Detroit plus 210 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Rays is Shane McClanahan with an ERA of 2.07. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Tigers is Garrett Hill with an ERA of 5.88. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs and had one strikeout. Tampa on a three-game winning streak. Coming off back-to-back -back nice wins against Detroit. Um, yeah, love McClanahan on the mound here. Um, I'm taking the Rays on the road. Next matchup, we have the Chicago White Sox versus the Texas Rangers. White Sox opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Rangers plus 100 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the White Sox is Michael Kopech with an ERA of 3.12. His last start, he pitched 7 innings. Gave up 2 runs and had 3 strikeouts. Pitching for the Rangers is Dane Dunning with an ERA of 4.30. His last start, he pitched 6 innings. Gave up 2 runs and had 4 strikeouts. White Sox... Coming off a 2-1 to one win yesterday against the Rangers. Played very solid. Um, definitely a low-scoring matchup there. I think I'm going to lean with the White Sox here. Very low money line. Played very well yesterday. Uh, Kopech's been good on the mound here. I'm going to lean with the White Sox on the road. Next matchup, we have the San Francisco Giants versus the Oakland Athletics. Giants opening up as road favorites at minus 220. Oakland plus 180 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Giants is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 3.0. His last start, he pitched 7 innings, gave up 0 runs, had 10 strikeouts. Pitching for Oakland is Adam Aller with an ERA of 7.68. His last start, he pitched 6 innings, gave up 4 runs. Had six strikeouts. Giants on a four-game losing streak, coming off a bad a bad Dodgers series. Uh, Oakland coming off two wins against the Angels. Um, I'm liking the Giants here, coming off that horrible series. I like them to bounce back here. Uh, Rodon coming off a good start on the mound with no, giving up no runs, and um, yeah, Adam Aller hasn't been that great for the A's. I'm going to take the Giants on the road. Next matchup, we have game two between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Mets opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Braves plus 108 with the over-under at 6.5. Pitching for the Braves is Max Freed with an ERA of 2.58. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for the Mets is Max Scherzer with an ERA of 2.13. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Atlanta 
you know, beating the Mets yesterday 9-6. to six. Game two of a doubleheader here. Um, two good pitchers on the mound. Um, I think I'm only with the Mets in game two. I love, love betting when Scherzer's on the mound. Definitely a tough one here. I can see this one going either way with Freed on the mound as well. But um, I'm going to lean with uh, the Mets at home in game two. Next matchup, we have the Boston Red Sox versus the Kansas City Royals. The Red Sox opening up as road favorites at minus 135. The Royals plus 125 with the over under at nine. Pitching for the Red Sox is Nathan Eovaldi with an ERA of 4.11. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Royals is Daniel Lynch with an ERA of 4.70. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up zero runs, had seven strikeouts. Boston beating Kansas City 7-4 yesterday. Um, yeah, we're going to see if Boston gets two wins in a row here. Don't be fooled by Yavaldi coming off no runs. He's given up 13 runs in his last three starts. Um, Lynch has only given up five. He's actually played very well here. I think I'm going to take the Royals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota opening up. Sorry, Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Minnesota plus 115 with the over-under at nine. Pitching for Toronto is Mitch White with an ERA of 3.70. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Twins is Dylan Bundy with an ERA of 5.04. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Yeah, Minnesota getting a nice 6-5 to five win as the underdog yesterday. Um... Yeah, Mitch White on the mound today. I believe he's getting his debut uh, coming in from the trade. And um, yeah, I think there's good good uh, underdog value with the Twins today. Showing they could get a win yesterday. I think I'm going to take the Twins plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we have the Cincinnati Reds versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 180. Cincinnati plus 150 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Reds is Nick Lodolo with an ERA of 4.23. His last start, he pitched 6 innings, gave up 1 run, had 7 strikeouts. Pitching for the Brewers is Aaron Ashby with an ERA of 4.13. His last start, he pitched 4 innings, gave up 0 runs, and had 6 strikeouts. Reds coming off a 5-1 loss yesterday against the Brewers. Um, Ashby's been good on the mound here. I like what the Brewers did yesterday. I thought the Reds could hang, but couldn't cover. Now, yeah, don't know if I don't know if I like them too much here. So I'm gonna take the Brewers at home. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Cardinals minus 105 with the over under at eight. Pitching for the Yankees is Domingo German with an ERA of 6.39. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had one strikeout. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 3.69. His last start, he pitched um, four innings, gave up four runs, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, Yankees coming off a... Of they're on a three-game losing streak, coming off a four-to-three loss yesterday against the against the Cardinals. Crazy. The whole it's like eighty percent of the public was on the Yankees yesterday, which I just knew that was not a good luck here. And uh, Cardinals are playing good. They're on a five-game winning streak. Don't know why everyone was on the Yankees yesterday. That was easy money for the Cardinals yesterday. I'm taking Cardinals plus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as a home favorite at minus 175. Colorado plus 145 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Rockies is Antonio Senzatella with an ERA of 4.87. His last start, he pitched 6 innings, gave up 3 runs, had 5 strikeouts. 
Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 2.87. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Um, Colorado losing six to five yesterday. Um, we're able to cover. They were a good underdog play yesterday. Um, Merrill Kelly has been very good on the mound. He's only given up one run in his last three starts. And, um, yeah, Arizona six and one at home right now. I'm going to take Arizona at home here. Love Merrill Kelly on the mound. I'm going to lean with the Diamondbacks at home. Next matchup, we have the San Diego Padres versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Padres plus 130 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for the Padres is Mike Clevinger with an ERA of 3.13. His last start, he pitched 7 innings. Gave up 1 run, had 6 strikeouts. Pitching for the Dodgers is Andrew Heaney with an ERA of 0.77. His last start, he pitched 4 innings. Gave up one run at seven strikeouts. Padres coming off an eight to one loss yesterday against the Dodgers. Dodgers it's on a six game winning streak, nine and one in their last 10. They're playing great baseball right now. 10 and one at home against the Padres where they've been dominant. Love Heaney on the mound. And um, I'm taking Dodgers at home. All right, then the last two matchups, we have a doubleheader between the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels. I don't have any lines on this game, guys. And uh, it's unfortunate, but that's how it is. Uh, they are 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. games, so they are later on in the day. Game one. Um, game one, I mean, I have, I have zero info on game one, guys. I can't even give you anything on game one at all. No pitching or lines. Angels are coming off a 4-3 loss yesterday against Seattle. Surprisingly, they're 6-1 on the road against Seattle, uh, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I can't give any info on Game 1, guys, so be sure to check the lines when they do come out. Um, I do have the pitching info for Game 2, though. That is available. Um, so this will just be a 1-2 and two in this during this little segment. Um, we have... Pitching for the Angels in Game 2 is Reed Detmers with an ERA of 3.62. His last start, he pitched 7 innings, gave up 1 run, had 12 strikeouts. Pitching for the Mariners is Chris Flexen with an ERA of 3.73. His last start, he pitched 5 innings, gave up 2 runs, had 1 strikeout. Um, Yeah, I'm just staying away from this series, guys. Not in love with the doubleheader. We'll see what the line ends up being. I'm sure uh, Seattle will probably be slight favorites at home in this one. And um, I think that's probably where I'm going to lean. And I'm also seeing reports that it could be George Kirby pitching in one of the games for the Mariners. So if George Kirby does pitch, he has an ERA of 3.56. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. So yeah, we'll see uh, if, if he does pitch maybe in game one or game two. I don't know. These are both question marks for me without the line, so I'm just not going to give my opinion on these two games. Way better games on the slate, guys. Staying away from this doubleheader. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.